Hi everyone, just for the change today I'm just going to do a talking video or a vlog as the kids call it. Um, just since a lot of us are still stuck at home and are spending that time gainfully playing guitar. Um, there's five channels that I think are very useful for anyone that's chasing Brian May's sound and is studying the music of Queen and his solo stuff. I just wanted to flag them to everybody because you may not have found them all. Um, the first one I want to look at is Craig Farley and Craig is from England and his channel is amazing. Craig is a working guitarist and he has um, covered uh, Queen's music for 15 years in tribute bands so his costumes are amazing but his playing is stellar. Uh, Craig will uh, have a couple of lessons on his site where he'll take apart versions of the songs that sh probably more familiar from the live versions which is a little bit nice and unique because it kind of shows how Brian treats his playing on the fly very definitely worth a subscription I know Craig is making some more films around various different live versions and they're all very ably explained uh, and very well produced videos so definitely worth to subscribe next channel you should check out is Marco Giuseppe Di Marco from Milan Marco's channel is one you probably almost certainly happened upon he's very popular and with good reason because of his absolute total dedication to correctly getting the music of Brian May recorded and performed with his band and in front of the camera. Um, his films are an absolute joy to watch. Um, he very often gives them in Italian but they're always subtitled in English for English speakers and presumably in other languages but it's just a joy to watch and put the songs together because the attention to detail is really there. It's, it's like watching uh, a film that Brian May never made so definitely worth subscribing if you haven't come across him and as well as that he covers a lot of equipment as well which is kind of useful too and he has some nice amplitude presets available through his group. So my next recommendation is to check out Frank Campesi's website also from Italy. Frank has a lot of humour, a lot of fun, a lot of entertainment built in there and music is entertainment and fun so let's have some more of that in our videos I suppose. Um, Frank covers a lot of equipment, he covers a lot of cover versions uh, definitely worth a look and a subscription because he's always up to something so definitely check out Frank's YouTube channel. So the next channel you should check out is Boris Onan from Turkey. Uh, Boris seems to be doing this for a little while and he's only starting to get a bit of mass now but his channel is excellent. He's doing some amazing transcriptions that are really detailed and he's printing the tabs on the screen and he's playing through the solos really slowly so it's a really nice way to pick up a lick. He has a transcription up there of the Back to the Light solo which is bang on. Um, definitely worth subscribe, check him out. So the next channel I recommend you check out is uh, Basics4 and that's all spelt and linked in the comments below. Matt has one of the best collections of lessons for Brian May. Much like anyone uh, that I've named already, his attention to detail is fantastic, but the depth of his videos is without parallel. He'll talk about a solo for 20 minutes and that's actually kind of important for Brian May's stuff because the way that the notes are played as opposed to just looking at the way the notes are written on a page is absolutely key to getting Brian's style down. It's a very lyrical style, it's a bit like singing and he doesn't play a note the same way twice and knowing how he articulates those notes is so important, how he phrases them and how the timings work and the techniques involved in bringing them about. And Basics 4 is the channel for picking up that phrasing because it is broken down in microscopic detail. All of these YouTube channels are linked in the comments below. Thanks again for all of the likes, shares, subscriptions and all that fun stuff. I'm going to keep making some very geeky videos, extremely geeky videos about Amplitude 5 um, the next while. And I'll be taking apart some more Queen Studio recordings. By the weekend I should have one about Montreal and about the live sound. It's not so much about the live sound, it's about how the live sound was made onto the record and did a lot of research and a lot of fun and there's going to be lots of YouTube yeah. There's going to be lots of Amplitude uh, presets to download around that, so should be fun, should be interesting. Might be a bit long drawn out and boring, but at least you'll have something to download and play with. So thanks again for staying tuned and hopefully we'll talk again soon.